go uh, a daft wolf whose S key doesn't work and just has to use a Z key asked for a tutorial on how to make bots and he pretty much wants a bot that you can talk to and will give you an ability. First thing I'm going to do is just set up a quick deathmatch. Let's go deathmatch. Workshop chamber starts immediately. I'm just going to say that you only play as Ana. So the first thing I'm going to do is match time slash setup, which is pretty much something that you always are going to have. So now here's something new. In actions, what we can do is create a dummy bot, which is how you make dummy bots. So we just create a dummy bot and then we can choose our hero. Here, I'm going to choose Tor because he's funny. Since we're in a deathmatch, he won't be on our team. Slot doesn't matter. I'm just going to put him at this coordinate, 0000. zero, zero, zero. But if you want him in a certain place on the map, if you watch my other basic Overwatch tutorial guide, it shows you how to like figure out what coordinates you're at. You can just use those coordinates to figure out where you want him to spawn. So I'm going to set this Torbjorn to a variable. So what we're going to do is set global variable. So it's a variable that all players can access. And we're just going to set it to the event player. And then we're going to make sure that this event player is the bot. So we'll say orb bot or bot in conditions you can do is dummy bot and then player true so it's just going to make sure that you're not an actual player and you're a bot and then since it's a torbjorn i'm gonna do this now if you have multiple bots of the same character you'd probably have to do it based off a of slot and based off of where what slot you're actually spawning them in right here torb if you're a bot then it's going to set global torbot the variable to you so what we'll do is we'll add a talking feature. Distance between the distance between you, the event player, and global variable or bot. If the distance between you and the torb is less than number, we'll say five. You're not talking about to them across the room, right? Five seems pretty reasonable here. And then you'll make sure. You'll say interact probably. You could do different buttons. So if you press interact and you're within five meters, something's gonna happen. One last thing we can do to make it a bit better, but it's probably not uh, necessary, is check if you're in the view angle. Torb bot is within your view angle. Just keep it at 45. So if the torb bot is within five meters of you, you're pressing interact and he's and you can see him, then our actions are gonna happen. Uh, I'll just use a small message because that's what makes sense. And then you can just say whatever you want. So if we go ahead and test this out, if I press F over here, I'm too far away, nothing's happening. If I press F while looking away from him, nothing happens. But if I press F right here, he says welcome. Now, one thing you could also do for the tour bot, art facing player, event player direction, closest player to event player. Yeah. There. So hopefully this will just make the Torb follow you and look at you. It's gonna be a bit creepy maybe, but it's kinda of better than just staring off into space. But what we need to do is just go ongoing each player, Ana. And then we can just disallow button ability one. Disallow button ability two. And then one thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say allow button, then player, button, ability one. Okay, you can see that my abilities aren't like, blocked, but I can't use them. But if we press F, he says welcome, and now I can use my sleep guard. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, if you wanted him to say different things, maybe, then you would probably just have to maybe set a new variable like maybe set a new state you could set global variable true be true and we'll just set b to like talk to then and then what we would do is we could do the exact same thing 
but we can make sure that talk to is true. Instead, we can say, welcome back. And we can allow button ability too. It says welcome. I can use my shift, can't use my E. It says welcome back. Now I can use my E.